Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So in this video, as usual, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Let us look at the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels for the higher time frame to lower time frame. When we look at the economical events plan for today, today is Thursday, September 1st. At 7.15 am, we have medium impact news planned for yuan related currency pairs. And at 12 pm, we have high impact news planned for Swiss franc. 6 pm, we have medium impact news planned for US dollar related currency pairs. 7.30 pm, we have high impact news planned for US dollar related currency pairs. So requesting you to consider these events also while making your trading plans. Let us begin our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame now when we look at the price action from the daily time frame as usual it is very clear that it is in a very strong bearish trend for now. Previously this midline of the bearish channel pattern was acting as a very strong support because we have noticed a price action to bounce back but current price action has broken this midline also which shows that the current bearish trend is very strong and today's candle also has opened below the previous candles closing which means that the bearish trend is very strong and if the price action bounces back on the bullish side retracement also this support line will be acting as a resistance line for the future price action and when we look at the next level of supports and resistance from the past price action 1722 had acted as a very strong support in the past where we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side trend reversal but the current price action has clearly broken this support level and it is continuously on a very strong bearish trend. So the next level of support from the past price action will be around 1680. So we are expecting the price action to trend down and to retest this support level of 1680. And even if the price action breaks this support level, next level of support is going to be the bearish channel pattern support line from the daily time frame. Only when the price action breaks this support level, it will be a bearish side trend reversal on the daily time frame. Up to this level, it will only be a retracement on the bearish side. And currently, the overall price action in daily time frame is in a bearish trend. Let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame now. In 4 hours time frame also I am drawing a bearish channel pattern where the price has taken resistance on this resistance line and it has bounced back on the bearish side trend reversal. So as long as the price action is trading within this bearish channel pattern we can expect the bearish trend to continue in 4 hours time frame also. It has clearly broken the midline of the bearish channel pattern from the daily time frame so it is in a very strong bearish trend next level of support is going to be the bearish channel pattern support line from the four hours time frame let us look at the price action in hourly time frame for hourly time frame also i am drawing a resistance line over here where the price action has been respecting this resistance line and currently the price action is in a very nice bearish trend and also we are noticing the consolidation to be starting over here. So wait for the price action to break this support line in order to continue trading on the bearish side. Next level of support is going to be the bearish channel pattern support line from the 4 hours time frame. And if the price action bounces back from the support line, next level of resistance is going to be the resistance line from the hourly time frame. Only when the price action breaks this resistance line from the daily time frame bearish channel pattern it will be the start of the bullish side retracement in hourly time frame let us mark the support and resistance levels 
So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for hourly time frame. So if the price action breaks this support line, next level of support is going to be the support level of 1700 which is also a psychological support. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now. In 30 minutes time frame also we are noticing the price action to be in a very strong bearish trend. It has formed a double bottom pattern and it has started the bearish side retracement. Currently it is bridging the support line from the hourly time frame. So today's price action is in a very strong bearish trend for now. Again I would recommend you to draw a trend line like this in order to understand the price action and as long as the price action is trading below this resistance line you can confidently go on a bearish side trade in 30 minutes time frame also. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame. Currently the trend in 30 minutes time frame is also in a very strong bearish trend. Let us look at the price action in 5 minutes time frame. I am in 5 minutes time frame now. When we look at the price action in 5 minutes time frame, currently the price action has taken resistance on the 30 minutes time frame resistance line and also taken support on the hourly time frame support line. It has momentarily broken the support line from the hourly time frame and it is on a retracement. As long as the price action doesn't break the 30 minutes time frame resistance line, we can expect the price action to continue trading on the bearish side in 5 minutes time frame also. Previously the price action was consolidating within this support and resistance line and currently it is trying to break this support line. Wait for the candles to close below this support line in order to continue trading on the bearish side. So the current trend of the price action in 5 minutes time frame is also on a bearish trend and if the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect the bullish side retracement to start in 5 minutes time frame and the next level of resistance it's going to be the resistance line from the hourly time frame. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So these are all the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.